This is Jamina CLI and this is one of the terminal based AI coding agent that runs directly inside your terminal. Gemini CLI works more like something like Codex or something like Warp. So there is this new trend of terminal based AI coding agents. We call it agentic development environments where AI agents and like this kind of autonomous agents are like at the forefront of software development. Now you can use Gemini CLI directly inside your terminal just like I'm using it inside my terminal. I did not install it inside VS Code. You can install it inside VS Code or something like Cursor or Windsurf. But for now I'm just using it inside my terminal only. And in fact I have created like several projects using Gemini CLI. And one of those projects is like a flat app so this is a very basic simple flutter mobile app so you can actually create any sort of project using Gemini CLI I, I even created a 3d project in 3gs as well so yeah it's a full-fledged AI coding agent but it will not give you that experience of like something like cursor or windsurf or something like tray or augment code the experience that you're gonna have is very like terminal based experience where you're interacting with this AI agent through terminal. So to start using Gemini CLI, it's absolutely free to start. You can simply just go to this link on Google. You can just look for Gemini CLI on Google and then you can just open this first link, sorry, second link. And from here, you can simply just click on this try now button. It will take you to this GitHub repository and this is the GitHub repository of Gemini CLI. The entire source code and everything is absolutely free to use. It's available here and next thing that you can do you can simply just run this command inside your terminal it doesn't matter if this is like your simple powershell or if, if this is like just a simple command line on your computer or maybe terminal simple on your macbook you can simply just run any of these commands inside there and then it will install and start running directly inside your terminal so let's just open our terminal in an empty folder. I'll simply just open my terminal. And after that, I'll simply just run that command, which was npx and then this GitHub URL. After that, press on enter. And now what it will do, it will just like run this command and install Gemini CLI inside my terminal. Right now you can see the installation has been started. It will just take few moments and then our installation will be completed and just like that within just few seconds Gemini CLI has been installed and now we got this user input section in here now I can just give it an input I can ask it to create an empty Next.js project so my prompt is simple create an empty Next.js project press enter and now let's just see what it does it will take some time to create this project and right now you can see it is going to run this command that is which is like a standard command to create an empty nexus project so now it is asking me allow execution yes always perfect okay now it will just run this run that command and then after that it will just create that project would you like me to create TypeScript? Yes. Okay, fine. ESLint, yes. Turbo Pack, yes. All right, so now you can see it has just created this empty Nexus project. And here is our project folder as well. I can just open that and you can see our empty Nexus project has been created. And now I can just give it further prompt to create something from here. So I can just ask it to create an invoice management app in Nexus. So my prompt is just create an invoice management app. I'm not going to give any further details. So I'll just press enter and let's just see what it creates. So now analyzing the project scope, formulating application structure. So now it's going to plan that. Should I proceed with that plan? Please proceed. By the way, because it is using Gemini 2.5 Pro on backend, to write code as it's like large language model so which is amazing because Gemini 2.5 is one of the best large language models out there to write code so it uses that so apparently it has just finished creating this project and it just literally took less than a minute let me just run this project and see what it has created so i can just like open a separate terminal and then i can just npm run dev i'll just run this project and then open this in localhost to see what it has created so this is my project and when i open this project in localhost my default page still shows 404 that means it has, it removed that page.tsx file and i cannot access that page anymore so that's why it is actually showing that so yeah when i open it shows so let's just give it. so now it is analyzing that error and it is going to fix that as well okay it has finally fixed all of the issues let me just open the project inside my browser so let me just open that on localhost and perfect this is our invoice management app and we got our very basic front end and i can just add my email address street address of course i'm not gonna add my real address but yeah i mean uh, i can add my item description and stuff 
see it has done kind of a good job in creating this so let me just save one of these and then let me just create the first invoice i need to add a description to this say create an invoice so it is it has just like created this invoice and i can now preview this invoice just like this and after that even i can print this invoice and then like export this invoice in a proper format and you can see each and every single invoice has the invoice number it's a proper well formatted invoice really nice really nice very impressive work that it has done with just one prompt so yeah i mean it's, it's not that great as as you can say any integrated development environment kind of ai agents something like cascade from windsurf or something like cursor agent but it has done like kind of good job with just one simple prompt so yeah go ahead give it a try and do let me know what you think about this amazing tool but yeah this is not going to replace cursor or windsurf i mean if you are going to ask that in comment section so yeah this is not something that will actually replace cursor or windsurf for you this can be a really handy tool to like quickly like access your project through a terminal and then quickly ask it to change something do something for you or maybe i mean this is just like a new tool in your workflow that can actually write code for you and like yeah it uses gemini pro 2.5 and it's free for now at least so you can just like go ahead and start using it